Welcome back to another part of this. See, look, you made it into a little dino trap. Get them stuck. I had a lot of, like, wanting to do different things with these buildings. Just because, I mean, they were cool buildings. Like, look, someone spent time making all of this. You know what I mean? Like, adding the water. Adding these little areas. You know? I just wish we could have fixed it up and made it look really nice. I'm gonna grab some berries. Yeah, that'll shut my character up. I don't know why they went to my last slot, but they did. There we go. Yeah, then we had a... Uh... I kinda like this place because look, we have a little waterway. And then if you follow it, it goes right underneath the bridge. Leads to a tiny little pond. You know what the messed up part was? There's no fish in this pond. Not a single fish. Which is messed up because they give you a little fishing dock. So you would think there would be fish. I mean, look at these beautiful little lily pads and everything. And yet, no fish. No fish. We were actually pretty lucky because... This, this is flowers right here. Look at that. Rare flowers. A whole bunch of them. Look how many. Look like that we were pretty lucky to have that. And then I like that they have these little areas over here, like look, it's a little smithing area. What just happened? Oh. Did What the what just happened? That was super weird. I was walking around completely fine, and then it was like my character just anti mesh. I anti meshed. Everyone saw that. I I anti meshed. I I I was just walking. That was. I've never had that happen to me over there before. Uh, that was super weird. Because I was... Look, I'll show you. I bet my body's over here. No. I was literally walking like this. To here. To look at it. And I got anti-meshed right... Well, I just did it again. I did it again. Everyone saw that? I... I don't know what happened. I don't know why that did that. I was trying to walk up to show you the little area there, and it was just like, no. It was like, that's not happening today. Uh, so I guess I'll have to keep my distance from that then. Um, I've, I've never had it, like, just do that to me beforehand. That's... Uh, a little nerve-wracking. It doesn't even leave a body there. Look, there's no body there. I was gonna, sh like, we used to parkour up these things and into those little areas at the top up there. I'm, like, scared to even go into these buildings now. Like, there's nothing in them, but that's scary. Why did it do that to me? Like, multiple times. We have this little area, which I think was supposed to be, like, a little hospital area. Blacksmith. This is the fishing little hut area next to the. At least I think it was supposed to be a little fishing hut. Man, that is so weird. I've never had that happen to me. Like, that happened multiple times. So, yeah, this is what we did. We built here, put up these gates. We own all of that. You actually, like, own the whole water system going all the way around the castle. I'm gonna have to go get a wyvern and show you it all. Completely forgot to grab one on the way of spawning over here. But it was a really good place to start with. Because, like, we had all these little, like, hidey hole areas like this. But you know what's messed up? Dinos would spawn in here. You'd come up here and there'd be, like, a pego sitting in that corner waiting for you. 
It's like nothing here now. But then, uh, even better was you'd come up here, and there's stuff all spawned up here, too. Like, this was a good way of getting up here and, like, staying safe from the dinos below. Because, man, we used to have so much dinos down there, too. Like, carnos all the time. Those monkey things. Like, in the beginning, those things are pretty OP. Look, see, this is the bridge he made. Isn't it a nice bridge? It goes really well. Worked really hard on making it, like, really line up. Making it straight. This little area. But yeah, we'd come up here and we'd, uh... Pretty sure you can pick these, yes, you can pick them. And this is, uh, we ran all the way here on foot. We had no idea, like, anything but a coordinates. Like, that was it. We only had the coordinates of this place, and we were like, we're running to it. We are going to get it. And we got it. Like, it is, it is crazy. Absolutely mad. But we got it. I mean, it was ours. This required a lot of running. We actually managed to do it in one shot. We ran through the whole thing in one shot. Like, like this was not a, you know, running it multiple times. No, we ran it in one shot. Like, I didn't... He got here first before me. Beanie, can you not? And then I showed up later on. I think my Xbox was a little slow. So I didn't load in as fast as he did. I can't remember what happened. Something happened which slowed me down so I wasn't here as soon as he was. I just wanted to show it, you know. Get a look at it all. But yeah, uh, we got a bed because we killed a uh, uh, pushy. At least I call them pushies. Uh, the diplos, whatevers. The big guys that just push everything around. Sometimes I like coming up here and just running around, like, the edges. Oh, look, see, there's a hole. If you're in careful, you just fall right through. They did that all over the place. It'd just be, like, random holes that you could just accidentally fall through. We used to get so much stuff on top of these things, too. Like, when we first started, they were everywhere on the top, too. But it was easy, because you just run them off, and then you just run through a door and run back up here. And most things couldn't really chase you through the halls. Like, if it was a Pego, or, you know, one of those small guys, then yeah, you were, uh, you were likely going to. But yeah, we, all this lake, all of it, it was all ours. This was where we kept our tappies and RGs and whatnot, before we had a wyvern. This was it, this was a little bird sanctuary. When we first started, you know, you don't have wyverns when you first really start on maps. There was no transfer overs from other maps, so. I think that's what we liked the most about when we play. Because you could play, whoop, that was lag, and it would be like, come in. I can jump up on the other ones, it's weird I can't jump up on these ones. But, uh... Yeah, there we go. See? Own all of that. All the whole water going around. And you had to, uh, like I had to put pillars all along the water edge because I got bases who would try to push into the water. And if you own a castle with a water system around it, you don't want to give that up to someone who, you know, you just don't want to. That's not what you want to do. You don't want to look out over your water and, you know, on the other side of the, the line where the trees are right there, there's a massive base staring back at you. You know the lag that would cause? No way. We didn't put any water pens in this. I mean, we thought about it, but we never did. It just didn't seem like something to do. Like, it would ruin the, the castle aura. Like, that. we tried really hard to stay, you know, that's why we made this huge castle area here. We tried to really stick with, like, making a castle. Jeez. Let me just get up here and show you guys some things, and then... See how this is the only one that has this? This is because... 
Can I even get out of here? Yeah. A tribe mate tool made this. You can tell he's not a really good builder. That he has, like, no idea what he's doing half the time. But, he joined our tribe due to a friend, due to a friend. If you've watched some of my other video, then you probably know. If I uploaded that video, I don't know if I ever did. But, he was, uh... He was not very smart. And also, like, a terrible person. Like, I'm not too sure what these mannequins are about. Like, I don't. This is just, like, his way of having them here, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah, see? Like, the whole castle, we all lived in the castle together. And he picked this little area to live. Away from the rest of us. Like, this was probably one of the, like, camel's straws that break the camel back. Look at this area. Like, it just... Ugh. Like, he didn't need to put that there. Like, it just looks weird, doesn't it? Like, it just doesn't look good. But, um, yeah, he was willing to build all of this, like, for, for context. This was, like, I don't know. He probably joined us, like, two weeks after we started the game. So we already had most of the stuff operational that we had. Because we already had that other, our first base going. But, like, this was kind of one of those things where it was, like, it showed that he wasn't willing to put work into this game. Like, my whole tribe was on this game, like, every day non-stop when the game first came out not first came out but like when this map first dropped and um like he was nowhere to be seen like what he didn't message any of us he didn't invite us to parties he didn't talk to any of us it wasn't until like we had more or less established a base then he came over and tried to like you know get in on some of the credit when he didn't do nothing like this man did nothing like, he would have all of these, and he'd just keep all his, like, stuff away from the rest of us, which was not really, like, like, those were free skins that I'm pretty sure I dropped. But, like, look at this. Like, these are his BPs. Why does he have BPs away from the rest of the tribe? Like, we all share the BPs. See? The same with, like, resources and stuff. Like, this is just stuff that he kept for himself. Hide you know, other stuff like this. Like, this is stuff he kept for himself. Like, beginning of tribe stuff, and it was just like, no. You know what I mean? Like, he cared more about making sure he had his stuff than he did, like, the rest of the tribe actually having stuff. Like, it... it that's, that's not a good tribe mate. Put in all this effort and all this time into making his own area, which... You know, we've never had an issue with if you wanted to make your own little base or your own little thing. But it was the fact that, like, he'd never combine resources with the rest of the tribe. Like, if you look at it, right, there's there's only a few vaults in here that aren't combined with everyone else's vaults. You know what I mean? Like, your own little private vaults? Sure. But, like, we all knew where everybody's stuff was. We all were, like... And, like, the most important BPs... You know, like, the stuff that we, you know, first had and, like, we're all sharing. You know, they went into here. Or one of the vaults over here or something. You know what I mean? Like, this was a shared joint effort. You know what I mean? Like, look, here's all our resources, right? We didn't take these resources and put them in a vault somewhere else from the rest of anyone else. Like, we didn't. Nope. This is it. Like... This is what we did. We put it all together so that we could all use it. And, like, say if we wanted to use, like, the metal, right, to make something, like, to do a trade, like, we would ask the rest of the tribe. We'd be like, or we would grind it out ourselves, add it to the metal collection, and then, you know, trade it off later. You know what I mean? It wasn't like an, oh, like, we're just having someone else do all the work and take all the stuff. Like, he did, look at all this metal. This was my tribe mate. Like, he, we had a little metal area not too far from here. That was what he did. He did, he did metals. But, I don't know. The fact that, like, he just never really seemed to, like, care as a whole for the whole tribe. Like, like we would all be doing things as a tribe. Or we'd be doing things to better the tribe. Like, 
you know, one of us might be out grinding and another one might be out taming. Like, that's, that's what we did. You know, my tribe mate Jay, he'd go on tame. So he'd come back with a whole bunch of Rexes or a whole bunch of, like, other kibble layers and stuff like that. And Tool did none of that. Like, he would complain if you asked him to build you some walls or structures or anything to help with the building of the bait. Like, it is a big base. You know what I mean? Like, it is a lot of walls. It is a lot of ceilings. It is a lot of... And this is all done, you know, before, you know, transfers and everything else. Like, this was not a small feat of any, might, like, means at all. Nope. Not up. And he would... Like, even this little base right here, when we first started, like, we didn't have rock golems or anything like that. Like, and he would, he would just not have it. He didn't want to be part of it. You know what I mean? Like, he'd come on and he'd be like, can I have a pteranodon? So that way he can go and do his own things. Like, not to help us, just so he can go and do his own things. Alright, I think we're going to end this video here. I gotta go charge my phone. And I gotta go bring a wyvern over to show you the rest of this. Goodbye.